Kids today grow up in a completely different world than those that did 20 years ago or more. Recess was a time of playing and getting grass stains on your clothes. Schools had dress codes that were more strict and many of the lessons would freak kids out today. Over the years, there have been many changes in technology. Because of that, there are many things that have disappeared from the schools and classrooms. Today, we'll have a look back and remember some of these long-lost items. One of the biggest items to disappear from schools are chalkboards. Many of us learned how to write cursive and do math on them. It was also a nice treat to go outside and dust out the erasers while everyone else had to stay inside. Remember when kids got in trouble and they had to write on the chalkboard? One thing you may not miss about them is when someone ran their fingernails down the chalkboard making that awful screeching sound. Today these chalkboards have been replaced with whiteboards and in some schools, smart boards. Keeping with chalkboards, you may remember these. They were chalk holders and they could be used in several ways. Teachers loved using these when they had to write out music or teach penmanship. It was also pretty good at duplicating the lines of notebook paper or graph paper. Back in the good old days, teachers had a set of pull-down maps or even scientific diagrams and charts that were hanging above the chalkboards. They really became helpful when a student was learning about the world in geography or history class. Some teachers even had great pointer sticks to show you the exact location they were talking about. Nowadays, smart boards and Google Maps make it a lot easier and quicker to pull up different locations. Card catalogs in the library are certainly another item that is no longer in schools. Do you remember these? You couldn't even use these unless you understood the Dewey Decimal System. Kids today have no clue about the struggle we had opening these tiny drawers and searching through the little cards just to find a book. Once you found the information you needed, you had to write it down and then go look for the book out on the shelf. If the book wasn't there, then it all felt like a complete waste of time. Now, everything is available through a few clicks on the computer. When you wanted to check out a book, you had to pull out the library checkout card located in the back. You would fill out the card with your name and it would be stamped with a date it was due back. The librarian would then keep the card. Before all of that was done, it was fun to see who had checked out the book before you. Maybe it was an older brother or sister, but it could also have been someone you had a crush on. Changes can also be seen in physical education or gym class. There was probably no better stress reliever than slamming a rubber ball at your classmates' faces during an innocent game of dodgeball. These rubber balls with grip always had a distinctive sound when they hit someone. Today this game is seen as being aggressive so some schools do not have it. Those that do use a softer foam ball and no shots to the face are allowed. Analog clocks are another item disappearing from schools. Some are electing to remove them completely while new schools are not having them installed. Many students cannot even read them as most classrooms today have digital clocks. The old analog clocks were often connected to a bell system which was a great sound to hear when class was over. If you have been in a school recently, then you probably noticed a tone instead. It just doesn't have that same feel. Do you remember using these mounted pencil sharpeners? They were so loud that most teachers required you to sharpen your pencils before a test or before class. Not only were they noisy, but they also had a distinctive smell from the wood pencils being shaved. They were also a little messy when it came time to empty the pencil shavings. Most students today use mechanical pencils, so they have no idea about standing in line waiting to use the pencil sharpener. Some of you may have used this tool in the classroom. This is a slide rule and it was out long before calculators, computers, and smartphones were so prevalent in our schools. It could help you calculate division, multiplication, square roots, and more. The best thing about it was it didn't need batteries. Long before the photocopier or computers with printers, the mimeograph machine existed. This was really the first mass duplicating system in schools. 
They worked by forcing ink through a stencil onto paper. Teachers had to create the stencil using a sharp pen or typewriter. They would then ink the machine and crank the copies by hand, which could be quite messy. The Ditto Machine or Spirit Duplicator came next. Teachers created a Spirit Master Sheet which transferred a waxy ink to a limited amount of copies called Dittos. The ink was often purple and had a faint sweet smell that students loved to sniff when they were freshly printed and handed out. Remember taking your lunch money to school? Hopefully you never had your money taken by a bully, but back in the day you had to have it in order to eat. You might have paid for a lunch card that was good for the whole week, or maybe you just paid for it daily. Many schools today require lunches to be paid for online. If you didn't eat the school food, then perhaps you brought your own lunch in a metal lunchbox. These durable lunchboxes had your favorite superhero, character, or show on the outside. What you usually had said a lot about you, and the best thing about your lunch was how you could trade with others so that you wouldn't get tired of eating the same thing from home. Kids who didn't bring their lunch would just look on with envy. Over the years, technology has changed quite a bit in schools. Occasionally, a teacher would bring something in to help a student grasp the subject matter more. Perhaps it was an old reel-to-reel -reel projector showing sex education or driver's safety. Slide projectors were another visual aid in the classroom. Eventually, schools acquired the film strip projector. These had a knob on the side that would advance the film strip to the next picture. It was always a special treat to get selected to control that knob while the teacher was talking. Later models had cassette tapes which would beep when it was time to advance the picture. Some models had buttons instead of knobs and a few did it all for you which cut out kids fighting over who could control the projector. Eventually these teaching tools gave way to the TV VCR media carts which have also long since disappeared. Remember when report cards were actually written on? Students took these home each quarter and brought them back with their parents' signature. Today these report cards are completely digital. Grade books are another item of the past. Teachers entered all of the grades from homework and tests by hand and not only that, they had to come up with the average of all those grades. Today these grades are entered into a computer program which comes out with an average for you. Overhead projectors are something that many teachers used for a while. In a way, they seem to be the beginning of the end for the chalkboard. A teacher would use these transparencies to write on and they would usually sit beside them. The bulb that was in these got incredibly hot and if you put this transparency in the wrong spot, it would actually melt it. Depending on your age and when you attended school, you may have used a trapper keeper. These were very popular in the 1980s and there were many different styles to choose from. Some of the most popular ones were fast cars for boys and horses for girls. Trapper keepers came in handy to store your paper, pencils, pens, and assignments. Geometry class was such a pain when you had to draw a circle. Even though you had a compass, you could easily tear a hole in your paper if you weren't careful. Not only that, you had to have a protractor and graph paper because you never know when it was needed. Schools have changed a lot over the years. Many of the items we saw today have been long gone. I'm sure we all have special memories about our school days. What are some of yours? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching.